Let's go ahead and cut open the box here. There is a seal on top here. And then go ahead and pop this open. Looks like there's a plastic tray with a cover over it. All right. Let's go ahead and separate those. And there it is. So it looks like we have a little card right here along with a user manual. And then the uh, charging cable right here. So it looks like it's one uh, via magnets right there in the two little pins. So that's pretty nice. And here is the uh, smartwatch itself. So far, looks uh, looks pretty all right. Buns feel nice, yeah. Uh, one thing that I don't really care for is you kind of see it there. The uh, the screen itself is actually square. Uh, I would have personally preferred to have like rounded edges, just even slightly. Uh, I think the um, the square uh, LCD here just kind of makes it look kind of cheap. But either way, the rest of the watch otherwise is actually quite nice looking. Let's go in and turn it on here. I believe you just hold the side button and it's not turning on. So it might need a charge or you might have to hold down this button right here. But anyways, I guess we'll see. So there it is. I'll go and give it a charge, take a look at the user manual and go ahead and try it out. All right, so the watch is now charged up and I also have it paired up to my iPhone 7 here. Now the app that you're gonna want to use with this thing, at least according to the box, is Zeroner Health Pro, and that's what I have downloaded on here. And so far it's working fine with my phone here, again in iPhone 7, I believe on iOS 14, uh, something like that. Uh, okay, well, it looks like you just click some random and it's going to access my camera. So is that. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go back here. You can see what it looks like right there, the app icon. Let's go ahead and get into that here. And by the way, I just want to point out something. I went ahead and looked up the, um, let's see here, three ATM, what that was equal to. And I believe it was equal to 30 meters, which is 100 feet. So that's pretty good. Um, I don't know why they say no swimming, maybe because, you know, when you're swimming that hard impact against water, maybe then water would get into it. But it is relatively water resistant or uh, waterproof, like it says on the box. So Let's go and start with showing you the watch. It was very easy to charge. This is, again, just a magnetic charger. And uh, it didn't take too terribly long to charge up. Let's go ahead and turn it on here. Click this button right here. Now, I was trying to pair this thing up uh, through Bluetooth using this code right here after I actually got it paired up to the app. This is so then uh, you could use, like, Siri and stuff from what I could tell. And uh, my phone isn't finding this for some reason. It says, please pair it in the phone Bluetooth. I went on to the Bluetooth on my phone and it's not finding this. So unfortunately I cannot test uh, that function of it. Anyways, other than that, here we have the, uh, the home screen, the watch face. I'm gonna have to keep turning this thing on. I'll change the setting in a minute, but this is what it looks like here. I believe this is the stock one. I'm not, yeah, it is a stock one. You can see there's a bunch of different ones here. To change from if you want as you can see right there this is the one that was actually on the uh on the front of the box i do believe yeah it, it, it is so there's that let's go and click that and i believe just like that it is set no okay this thing i have noticed is kind of clunky i'll be honest with you guys um it takes a second to do everything and sometimes if you mean to like hold on the screen uh, for example, to change this watch face, sometimes they'll just register it as like a quick little click and, uh, you know, go into like the settings app, for example. But there we go. I got that set right there. Let's go and scroll down. You can see here we have a couple fitness things right here. This is like on the Apple Watch, the, um, I forget what they, I think they're called rings in the Apple Watch. Um, but basically it tells you your fitness, how many calories you burned and so on. And then you can see here in kind of like a graph activity, stand, steps, workout, and uh, I believe that's meters right there. And uh, it just kind of shows, you know, how many hours you've been standing, for example, and the uh, and how many calories you have burned. It's so gonna scroll down. This would also tell your uh, heartbeat right here, which is probably relatively accurate. Um, on all of these cheaper smartwatches, they're never gonna be exact uh, like the Apple Watch, but it will give you a good ballpark figure of what your heart rate is. All right, now swiping right here, let's go and turn it on. If you swipe right, here is where your uh, text messages will be. 
Swipe to the left and you have a bunch of different uh, things here. You have dancing, running, biking, uh, fast walk, uh, badminton, tennis, uh, soccer, sit-ups, yoga. I mean, you have a whole bunch of different things in here. So, uh, for example, if you're going to be uh, dancing, you click on that here. You click start and then that will show you how long you have been dancing for whatever you choose. And then you also have your beats per minute here and also your um, how many calories you have burned All right there let's going to go back here stop it and uh, you can see here it shows your total time active time pause time total energy active calories burned uh, average heart rate and so on it's going to go back here and then if you swipe to the right again we have i believe this is your blood oxygen level right here and you also have your scientific sleep. This is basically just a sleep tracker um, from what I could tell. Looks like the battery life will decrease. Battery life will decrease two to two days after enabling uh, this mode. Okay, that's interesting. So it will shorten your battery life. Keep that in mind. You have your breath or breathe training. Uh, deep relax, nervous regulation. Okay, so yeah, this thing has uh, breathing modes and it uh, looks like your stress modes here. So you can see how stressed you are, for example. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool, I'll be honest. Uh, you have events here, which I believe is just a calendar from what I could tell, yeah. And um, you also have a stopwatch. That's pretty self-explanatory, a timer, compass, and also your settings here. It looks like we have settings for the watch face, which I pretty much already showed off. And uh, let's going to go back here. You also have your menu display, which is list or tiled. You also have your uh, smart tracking, which I'm not 100% sure what that is. I'll take a look in the uh, user manual for that. Also, I'm going to turn that off since I am not using 24-hour mode. Uh, do not disturb. We have set the date, set the time, 24-hour. And you also have language, audio, Bluetooth, unbinding, which I haven't gotten that to pair again. I pointed that out, so... Maybe I'll go in here and see if uh, I'll forget it. Maybe now it'll work for some weird reason. You also have your about here and also your uh, reset if you want to reset the thing. So there it is. Pretty cool. I know there's more features, which I'll go over in just a minute. All right, so I finally got it to pair here. Now, I actually uh, have it on Apple Music here on my phone. And I've, like I said, I have it all paired up. So I'm going to turn up the volume here just to show you guys that it does work. All right, and there you go. I don't want to play for too long to get a copyright strike. But hey, it actually works. And it's actually getting kind of loud. Now, it doesn't sound great. Um, but I'll be completely honest, it actually sounds a lot better than what I was expecting. So that's pretty cool. I wish the Apple Watch could do that. Unfortunately, it can't. But hey, this thing can. So that is really awesome. All right. So now the watch, if you swipe up here, you can see you actually have a quick uh, brightness con uh, control right here. So that's pretty cool. You could also set it to auto if you would like. Uh, you have, looks like a... Um, uh, sleep tracker right there button a quick one just if you want to go ahead and quickly turn that on you also have a silent mode which by the way this thing this thing does vibrate so it has a little vibrate motor in it that's pretty cool uh, do not disturb uh, you have your settings here you also let's go back here it also looks like a uh, you have a flashlight so this is kind of like on the apple watch where it basically just goes to a white screen and it pretty much has this white screen at full brightness and uh, you, you would like very rarely use this however it can come in handy I've had to use it a couple times on my Apple watch uh, you also here have a uh, quick little uh, control here to turn up and down your volume for example on your phone let's go back there as you can see right there on the left it is going up and then you could also play and pause Right there and then also a back and forward button for a song so there it is pretty cool uh, next thing I'll go over is the app all right now for the main page of the app here we have our information so it looks like uh, looks like how long you've just been standing it tells you by the hour there you also have how many uh, steps you've gone along with uh, how many calories you have burned you scroll down here you can see how long you've been running cycling walking uh, hiking and so on.
going to go back here. You also have your health data here, which we have no data for today, obviously, since the watch is brand new. You also have your device information here, which I have a code up here. I don't know if I want to show that. So let's go and just show you guys here. It looks like we have the watch faces, which it is loading. So this might take just a second. Um, I guess we'll see. I'll get back with you guys whenever it loads. All right, now this is what I'd like to see, a bunch of different uh, downloadable watch faces. Here they all are. If you want to go ahead and take a look at any of these, go ahead and stop the video. You could take a closer look right there. Uh, these right here actually kind of look like the uh, Apple Watch uh, watch faces right there. They're very similar, so that's uh, kind of funny. There they are. Like I said, you can stop the video to take a closer look at these if you want to. So there they all are, pretty awesome. I really like that, that you could download pretty much any of these watch faces. You can also set the sedentary reminder, which basically just tells you uh, when you need to basically stand up if you've been sitting too long, so that's kind of cool. You also have your message notifications right here. So for example, uh, if you have Instagram on your phone and you aren't receiving Instagram notifications on the watch, you want to make sure that number one, uh, that notifications are just turned on altogether. And also you would want to go in here and select what apps you want to receive notifications from. And you see there's a bunch of different ones here, more than usual, more than the other uh, watches that I have reviewed. Uh, you also have Easy Camera here, which I believe will just, okay, so yeah, you can see, oh, that's, that's fine. You can add those to my library, I don't care. And there you go. So basically you can use this as a, uh, as a remote and you can take pictures from your phone, but using this as like a little remote. Uh, you also have your date format along with the user or unit of measurement, weather format, vibration, remind, a uh, palming gestures. Okay, that's kind of weird. I have no idea what that is, I'll be honest. Uh, you also have bright screen time. Okay, so that just tells you or I guess tells the watch how long the screen can stay on. I'm gonna set that to 30 seconds. You also have a wearing manner, which is basically what wrist you want to wear it on, left or right, and also your firmware upgrade right there, and you can unbind it if you would like. All right, so here is the profile settings here. So you have settings here to uh, change the unit of measurement, temperature switch, and so on. You also can edit your profile here, your goal settings if you would like, along with a, a one-on-one guide, which I would just assume is uh, just help. And then you also have a little help booklet here right below it and also links. Uh, yeah, okay, so you could link, it looks like Apple Health along with uh, Strava. So there's that, pretty cool. So, uh, so far this watch, again, this is kind of just initial impressions. I haven't had a lot of time to mess around with it, uh, but it seems to be pretty decent. I really like that it has its own app. Uh, this is this is the first time that I've tried out this app and it actually seems better than most um, other apps that I've tried out, such as like Very Fit Pro. I like this one just a little bit more. I also like this watch a little bit more than all the others that I have reviewed. Number one, in my opinion, it looks the best. It also has that built-in speaker, which is really, really cool. And also, I, I just like the OS on it, you know? I, it looks really good. And also, all those downloadable watch faces. That is also very nice. However, one thing that I don't like about it is that the thing is kind of slow. And like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of clunky. If you want to go ahead and change the watch of uh, watch face, for example, there's a couple of times where I went to go, you know, hold it down and it would just register it as one quick little click and it would open up like the settings menu and stuff. Uh, so it could be a little bit, uh, you know, clunky, like I said, as sometimes, but other than that, it seems to be a pretty good watch. And so far I am liking it. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.